Can you Hi. introduce yourself, yeah? Hi, my name is Rick Bennett, and uh, I'm a filmmaker. Um, Hi, my name is Rick Bennett, and uh, I'm a filmmaker. Um, both feature films, television, series, uh, commercials, documentaries. Been 35 years in this industry and kind of shot everything and everywhere. I'm also a film educator. Uh, was one of the original creators of the Toronto Film School program and a former chair of the program and now a director. Uh, and tonight I'm here actually to speak to the Shanghai Business Association uh, just about film and some of the opportunities in film and uh, with the schools. So we can say film is your life. I'm sorry? Can, can we say film is your life? I could say film is my life, absolutely. 35 years uh, I've been in this industry. It's a great industry. Uh, it's been good to me. So, uh, yes, film is my life. So you say you film all over the world. So that's a uh it's a global business, is that right? Oh, it's very much a global business. I've uh, shot film in, in Europe, South Africa, the Antarctic, South America. Uh, I've taught film in Mumbai, in Bollywood, uh, in the U.S., Canada. And certainly shooting film has taken me in documentaries, it's taken me all around the world. Mm -hmm. um, and today it's a very global marketing, from the marketing and financing through to the uh, distribution. It's totally a global Okay. Uh, industry. Uh, could we say film industry is a small circle or sometimes like you for example you have to get to know somebody in order to to get into the industry? Oh, uh, the film industry is a lot of of networking it's it's who you know it's it's being part of the people but that that was before today with so much digital um, uh, equipment and knowledge and so many film schools more and more people are getting into the industry that wouldn't wouldn't have been allowed into the industry before or wouldn't have been able to get into the industry before so in terms of industry the, the global market how big is this in this, this industry oh for example how many people working in this industry and what's the well let me just let me just tell you Ontario Last year, we spent $1.5 billion on film production in Ontario alone. 250,000 uh, film jobs in, in Ontario alone. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, the size of Ontario is compared to the large Hollywood. countries, Hollywood, Bollywood, China. I mean, so we're talking billions and billions of dollars. I see. You're talking, you talk about Hollywood, Bollywood, and China. How you compare these three big markets? Well, I think... Obviously, the Hollywood market, uh, we know North America better. The Bollywood market, I know because I've been there and actually shot there. And the Chinese market is just is just starting to come out, so we've seen it. And, and I just think it's fantastic. I've had a couple of students from uh, Beijing uh, and one from Shanghai who've made great films over here after graduating. And uh, it's just a booming industry. It's going to be right up there with Hollywood. I can see like film could be entertainment, then it's a cultural, it's a cultural product. So what about the cultural differences? Well, you know, there are cultural differences, but you know, there's one thing, and having taught, been, and, and shot in many countries, um, the cultural differences is different, the filmmaking is the same. You know, the technique, the technology, the same. You, I'll tell you what, if I go here, I go to China, I go to Japan, uh, I go to South America, when it comes to talking film and what to do and how to make a film, that's universal. The story may change, the language is obviously different, I may never be able to find the washroom, but I will know how to talk to people about making film. I see. So the, the content could be different, and yeah. the script could be different, but the knowledge is the same. Content and the culture will be different within the story, but the the communication of a visual storytelling is the same, regardless. Yeah. So I think, you know, today's life mostly affected by technology. How about the, in the film industry? Could technology changes 
the film industry? Well, it certainly changes how we make films. Absolutely. We, so we how, go from analog to digital, you know, right? Oh, exactly. We've gone from cameras the size of this table to cameras the size of the one you're using. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, we've gone from digital systems that and, and lighting systems and crane systems and drones uh, for, as far as shooting to post-production now, which is digital. We never see film anymore. So it's changed a lot, but it still doesn't drive the storytelling. You still have to tell a story, yeah. you know? What about format? Like we have, uh, before we have the so Cineplex, now we have the IMAX, 3D, you know, those things. The reality, ultra reality is coming. Yeah. It's yeah, coming around reality, the corner. Yeah. 3D reality, it's already started. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, a lot of it is somewhat gimmicky because it's in the early stages. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's hard to say what we will adapt to because, again, you're still telling a story and it becomes even trickier when you're in 3D and everywhere you look, the scene is, is taking place, right? Which is the new ultra reality things, which are. So, you've been like, working in this industry for 35 years. Yeah. Any memorable moment you can share with us? <laughs> yeah, or difficult times. <laughs> yeah, many, many good things. A lot of times I used to work with John Candy a lot, who was a great actor. Uh, I was his business partner for a while. We had a lot of fun in different times. We've had cameras fall out of helicopters. We've had people take us location in Egypt, and the sun actually didn't come up on that location. We've had, oh, there's there's so many things that go wrong in film. You know? So you are a producer, right? And director. I've and director. Done, I've yeah. done so both. being a producer, you control the budget. How you, how you control the film production within the budget, or <laughs> you're always over the budget. Well, no. Yeah. The <laughs> trick is, and especially with lower budget films, the trick is to be realistic about your budget, right? Mm -hmm. And know exactly how to do it. I mean, the lower budget films, which is what I like to do more than, than the big budget films. Even we got X amount of time to shoot it. Have time to ask questions and then decide to make a whole lot of mistakes or whatever you do it. You know? So you have to know what you're doing. That's the whole trick. Yeah. So and what's don't your, go over budget. So what's your average price tag for your production? What's the average? price tag? That means normal, uh, what's your average like production cost for for your film? Our films cost anywhere from a million to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay. So it's a but small the, budget or, or small B films, but B okay. I mean, one of my films we shot for half a million dollars, made fourteen million dollars. Good, with, I'm good about, investment. <laughs> I'm about profit margin, not about the total sales. Okay, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. All right. So last questions, like uh, you know, the film industry is always a dream for the youngsters, right? Any any shortcut, any advice for the new like film professionals? They go to the film school and then. Yes, I mean, especially if you're older, uh, you want to you want to cut the learning curve, right? And you want to be able to get into a place where there's lots of other people doing it as well, because you want to be able to network mm -hmm. and you want to be able to get on sets and to get on these film projects easily. Once you're on there, you're like everybody else. Doesn't matter how old you are, mm -hmm. you've got to be able to do the job, and you learn on the job as well. Does the job pay well? Oh, absolutely. It pays. First of all, you'll work for nothing mm -hmm. for a long time. And then when I was shooting commercials, I was making $8,000 a day. When you're shooting and producing films, you make a lot of money on a film that makes $14 million and you don't make anything on a film that loses money. Yeah. So, yes, but as a... As a but you don't get a job every day, right? <laughs> no, no, and you don't get a job every day. It's, yeah. it's up and down. But with TV series, etc., and union wages are high. I mean, they're fifty bucks an hour at the top, fifty, sixty. You know, so it's it's a it's a good industry. It's a good business. I see. In terms of like internet, cell phone, they got more productions. They Absolutely. got more jobs, right? Absolutely. Yeah. The web, that whole web series thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Michael. Yeah. It's, a, it's exploding. In post production alone, it's exploding. I see. So the future is good. Future is excellent. Future is good. Okay. Then what about the biggest market will be? The biggest China. market is, is still North America. Still you still I know. Yeah. Okay. But again, things are changing. I mean there's great film industries in say Nigeria, Nollywood they call it, right? Yeah. 
millions of dollars of films go out there. Not the best films, but you know, they're big. It, it, it's so global, and everybody can do it now. So you're going to see a lot of countries mm -hmm. expand I see. hugely. So, so look at the global market, and just uh, not just one country market. So, oh no, it will be totally global. I mean, you have to look globally now, or you're not going to succeed. I see.